Here we're gonna go over the basics of cleaning a French pane window from start to finish using a mop and squeegee. First start by removing the screen. You can clean the screen first or last. It doesn't matter. Here we're gonna clean it first. Mopping the screen first and then going over it with a microfiber. If the screen was overly dirty, then you would wanna use a wetter mop and do both sides. This one wasn't too bad. As long as when you're done cleaning the screen, there's no dirt left on it and it's as clean as it can possibly be. That's, that's the main goal. Um, we're going to start by climbing up our six foot ladder and pre-wiping the outer edges and perimeter of the window, loosening up any bugs, wiping over the mullions, getting any heavy buildup off of it before we start mopping. We're going to proceed to mopping. Notice how the mop isn't overly wet. If it was too wet, then the water would drip behind the mullion, um, which would make it more difficult to get back out. I'll show you in a second. Here we pull the mullion off the glass and you can see how the water's dripping out from behind it. That can cause a lot of delay as far as when you're uh, done cleaning the glass and how long it takes to get that water back out from behind that mullion. To increase speed and efficiency, there's just certain tips and techniques that you can use to maximize your production. We're using a straight pull technique. We created a dry spot along the edge of the glass to put our, our squeegee on and just pulling to the side. If we were to pull down on that top window, we would be again forcing water behind that mullion, which is why I'm pulling side to side on these top portions. Um, I'm going to stick a screwdriver behind this mullion to help free up any water that may be behind there. And I'm going to use my yellow rag to kind of free up anything that's kind of dripping out from behind. You'll also, also notice I'm creating a dry spot here so I can pull straight down. On the top, we pulled side to side because we didn't want to force water into that lower mullion, making it easier for us whenever we start to detail. On the bottom portions here, um, we can just pull down. These are you know, just tips and tricks that'll help you along the way to speed up your process. Um, I'm using my yellow rag first here because that bottom piece is so dirty, you can see the dirt. Again, we wanna use the yellow rag for all of our real dirty work. I'm, I'm cleaning up any dirt that's on that mullion and then follow it up with your white rag, which is your detail rag. You wanna to try to keep that as clean as possible so whenever you're using it, you're not smearing dirt and stuff all over the glass. That's your dry detail finish rag. Your yellow one's gonna be for removing dirt and water and bugs. This top piece is done. I'm just giving it a once over, making sure that I got all of the edges, trying not to get that rag uh, smeared all across the, the glass. I'm only allowing the portion that I'm using to detail the glass touch the glass. When you start cleaning these windows hands-on, it'll make a little more sense. I just kind of want to give you a general overview of what it looks like to clean a French pane window. These tend to be the most difficult style windows for beginners. Um, again, these windows don't require a razor blade. If there was paint or anything stuck on this glass that required uh, more scrubbing power that this mop wouldn't be able to get off, then we would use a razor blade. Um, going over all the heavy stuff, creating a dry spot, for my squeegee and we're fanning this section just to give you a general idea of what it looks like to fan but notice how i'm closing on the sides and not the bottom the reason for that is again we don't want to force water into that lower sash now we're going to throw a, a screwdriver in between to help free up any water that may be trapped behind it it's important to know that when you put these screwdrivers in the windows like this to prevent from breaking and scratching you don't want to force them in there you want to be gentle as you can. This is glass and it can break. Again, finishing on the bottom on this bottom section, and then we're gonna use our yellow rag to clean up the edges and any dirt that uh, we don't wanna get on our white rag. The white rag is your finishing rag. The yellow rag is your bulk heavy debris and water rag. There's a spot on that sill. We do want to make sure that we clean everything around the window. We don't want to leave anything on the sills, frames, glass. And now we're just going to detail this window using a different spot of the detail rag every time I use it as to not smear water around the, on the glass. So we're just detailing the rest of these mullions, making uh, sure that there's nothing left behind that's going to look bad. You can see that I'm just choosing a different spot of the rag to use every time I put it on the glass. 
And once this is all done, you know, we'll just kind of back up, give it a look, make sure that we didn't miss anything, reinstall the screen. If you notice here, there's two spots in this upper track. We want to make sure that we use the further back track that I'm pointing at closest to the glass to install that screen. We're going to push up on the edges, not in the middle, to force it up into that track, making sure that it's seated properly.